Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and another karting video. We are here at Hull Karting today to bring you an in-depth track guide to help you improve your karting, your driving and potentially even beat me on the lap record here as well. And thank you to Jack Gray behind the camera who is helping us ramp up the quality of these videos for this video and the content that we are going to bring you in the future. So let's get into this track guide. guys welcome to turn one also known as sub and probably the best part and my favorite part of the track doing about 35 miles an hour down here completely flat out when you get to the turning in point and this is a line and this line this is you're going to be your turning in point to get that apex right over there and this is the apex for turn one you can see we've got the red and white kerb there along with the concrete kerb if you get on this concrete kerb there is so much grip here especially in the wet and then you can see this straight kind of barrier this is going to be almost get your car parallel to here to then hit the exit point over there so guys this is the exit here this divot in the barrier where you want to be aiming your car from the apex of turn one but if you do get it wrong you may be going into this barrier and meeting super gt's friend mr barry r but get it all right and you'll have a nice smooth arc down to turn two hi right, guys so welcome to turn two originally named as second don't ask me <laughs> but we're going to be carrying all the speed that you've gained from turn one into here carrying a nice arc through the turn ready to grab this apex on the inside and this concrete kerb right here heading down to turn three okay so coming off turn two second down there if you've got a great drive out of there on a car ahead of you really take this inside line now hard on the brakes down here and get the inside line for an overtake down into turn three this bit of tarmac down here running across the track is going to be your braking and turning in point for bare entry. And you can do one of two things here. You've got two different options, either heavy on the brakes and then lift off and coast in ready for the power on the apex. Or what I like to do is about 40, 50% power on the brakes and then coast it in get that front end gripped nicely turned in ready to power off the apex onto the exit so this is the apex of turn three bare entry so as you've turned into the corner you really want to be getting on this apex as close to the barrier as possible and in the wet there's a bit of concrete kerb here that you really want to be taking on with your right wheels and getting a lot of grip ah so much grip from that concrete kerb ready to take the exit down there and this kerb here is where you are exiting the corner now it's time for 10 for also known as 180 180 get your outside wheels on this line there's not really a reference point as such that i use just kind of got to judge it drive it a bit on feel but at this point heavy on the brakes here you'll know you've kind of got it right where there's a bit of a clunk from the engine it's almost at the point where the wheels are locked up but not quite uh, which will give you the speed that you need to take the apex at turn four here there's actually two different lines that are one for the wet and one for the dry they are pretty different so make sure you take note of this one there is a bead of tarmac down at the center of the circuit here and really you want to be positioning your car when it's wet on this outer bit of track here that's due to the rubber being laid down on this central bit where the normal dry racing line is basically give you no grip at all so this part over here is for the wet line and then the normal kind of dry racing line getting as close to the barrier taking this concrete kerb ready for the exit down there and the exit point for this corner is going to be at this floppy bit of barrier right down here Woo, floppy on to turn five which is this left right chicane here an absolutely fantastic part of the track and probably one of my favorite bits but probably one of the most difficult as well so the entry point for this corner is going to be using this kink on the barrier here kinky and all you need to do here is just coast in lift off the throttle no need for any brakes here and then head to what is a pretty awkward apex 
So the first apex on this left right chicane here is a pretty awkward one, probably one of the most difficult on the track because you can't actually see it at your turning in point. So you've got to be pretty committed, get the cart turned in and then you start seeing the apex which is the concrete curb on the middle here. And then what you want to do is bring the cart as wide as you can and set yourself up for the right hander and then really optimise the exit. So now we're at the apex of the right hander coming from this very fast left hander up there. And this is the one that you really want to try and optimize the exit of. So you've set yourself up nicely coming into here, a nice wide entry here, ready for opening the car and the steering up down to the exit. Now at the exit of the corner, what you are looking for and where you are gonna position your car is on this thin gray bit of concrete as you open up the steering, ready for a nice straight line down to the next corner. This is what is classed as turn six and it's called 90, just 90. The entry to this corner is actually quite a lot faster than it initially appears to be. What you want to do is use this concrete line once more for the entry point and just lift off to a probably about 90%, 85% throttle just to settle the car and get it turned in, ready to hit the apex and back on the power as soon as possible. And you're looking to exit this corner just where this white line here is beginning to disappear on the ground. This is turn eight, also known as middle. Malcolm? Now at the entry to this corner, not really a reference point as such, but really get the car over onto this curved part of the barrier and almost follow the barrier here just for the first part until you can see the corner of the apex and then really get it in. So the apex of this corner is another tricky one. After you've followed the banking around on the entry, you're really now looking for this corner here. It's a quite a square apex and you can't really see this flat section until you're right on it. And all I like to do on the entry is lift off to about 40, 50% throttle. No need to break at this point at all. Just keep the cart composed and just taking off a little bit of speed, ready to grab the inside of this apex here, ready for the exit over there. Once you have taken the apex over here, you are looking to point your car straight at the end of the tires just on this banking. And this corner here is such a great opportunity for a switch back down to the left hander. Here we have the next corner known as reflex. Reflex. And the only thing to really say about this one is get as close as possible on the apex to the mud. This is completely flat out. And then what you want to do is stay on the middle of the track bringing yourself over onto the left, ready for the next corner. We're now here at one of the final corners on the track. This is Coventry. So the entry to this corner is going to be where this mud starts opening up on the outside of the track. So that's your reference point. So taking it from the corner where we've just been to the middle of the track, really getting it out wide here and then turning in as this opens up down to here. But make sure you watch out for the inside line. This is a fantastic overtaking opportunity if someone's got the run on you out of the corner previously. So we're at the apex of this corner and after your entry point, lifting off to about 70, 80% of the throttle, no need for braking there, grabbing a late apex here. You can take some of the concrete curb on the inside here, but I tend to not like it on this corner. It just seems to slow me down a little bit. But if it's wet, then really get onto this concrete curb here. It provides a lot of grip in the wet. And then we're heading down here to clip that barrier down there. And this is the barrier that you want to aim for on the exit as you make your way down this straight to the final corner. So guys, this is the final corner and the final section of this track guide. And not much to say about this really, it is a completely flat out section. So really getting the car hooked in from a nice wide entry point, hitting this apex here. And this can actually be such a great point in the track for some racing and some side by side battles as you go down into the S's down to finish your lap past the start finish line.
thank you very much guys for watching this track guide and also let me know what you'd like to see in the future we've got a lot more exciting content planned so make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel for a lot more see you in the next one